Okay, I know this may sound like the dumbest crap you will ever hear in your life, and maybe it is, but I think there could and very well could be a boost course pass to the electric boogaloo. You may be saying, well, ZPL, yeah, that could happen in a dream. Reality really does not like me. So I'm going to discuss why I think there could be a boost course pass to you might as well just get like this big, big, huge, huge reason out of the way. Yeah, there's this thing called Mario Kart Tour. You all have heard of it. I mean, if you play Mario Kart, you probably heard of every Mario Kart game at this point because we're all nerds. But with that information in mind, I think Mario Kart Tour, well, it's very clear, first off, that this game, this DLC, is just a way to bring tour tracks for preventing a tour, if like for preventing lost content if tour ever shuts down. And that leads to my first reasoning behind it is I think this game is a way to keep all these tour tracks and tour content alive in some way, shape, or form. Make it accessible years down the line when tour is gone, reduced to atoms, you know? So I think that is very much the big reason here. And I mean, if you think about it, yes, we're getting a lot of, lot of tracks. But Tor has a lot, a lot, a lot of tracks. So obviously, they're probably gonna be here saying, well, we need to get a mo good majority of these tracks, which they're getting most of them. But I wanna talk about one specific game's tracks that could really just change the everything about the Booster Course Pass. And that game, my friends, is Mario Kart Super Circuits tracks in Mario Kart Tour and there is a reason why that game specifically I want to bring up. I think it's a fair question to ask, well, why would you bring up Mario Kart Super Circuit? I mean, it's a fine enough game, the tracks are fine, but I mean, we don't need too many of those tracks in this game, which is true, we don't. But with how Nintendo feels like they're treating this, which very much feels like a preservation thing, I think having all the GBA tracks would be ideal because the layouts are basically brand new tracks for half of them. Like, look at GBA Sky Garden and GBA Sky Garden, you know? Like, they're completely different tracks. The layouts are, like, entirely different and they are very much feel a different track, which some people may be good, some people may be atrocious. It's how you look at it. But that's not what I'm here to discuss. What I'm here to discuss is the fact that we're not getting all the remaining GBA tracks, especially the ones that have had massive overhauls from the original versions in Mario Kart Super Circuit. Because as some of you may know, and some may not, GBA Sunset Wilds, that is the last GBA track coming to the DLC. And I mean it when I say the last GBA track, which on one hand means like, yeah, I guess no more GBA tracks so well, Yoshi Desert can screw off anyways, but then you'll think about it a bit more and you're like, GBA Yoshi Desert's also not the same track. It basically feels like a completely new track, which on one hand, yeah, again, it's, it's still the same track, it's just a different layout a bit, like it's like a simplified version of it, so who would want that? But at the same time, if Tor shuts down, Without that, without those tracks, I think it's very well to say that like those tracks outside of modding and like custom content might be fully gone, which is not an ideal situation because even though they're completely different layouts, you probably want them to be deserved, well, not deserved, preserved, sorry, which is kind of a good thing in gaming when stuff's preserved. Another reason I want to bring up is that the track selection well, yes, most of the tracks are like, God, we needed this in this game. There are some fan favorites still missing. And, you know, those fan favorites could appear in the second one. Which is why I think number two reason is that they're leaving out some tracks that people are like, God, I want this so bad in this game for a second DLC pass. For example, DS Airship Fortress and like Delfino Square. Those tracks. Those would be fantastic in this game. And where are they? Don't see them anywhere. 
And you may be thinking, oh, we could just have another DS track. There are no DS tracks left. So that basically throws those tracks out of the water, except if we have a DLC number two pack. If we have a sequel DLC pack, easily can put those tracks into the game and would easily be able to just make them a reality for us Nintendo fans. Because we're Nintendo fans, we want, we just want tracks. But yeah, like, I think that's kind of a thing. Like, they're leaving out certain tracks for a second DLC pack, in my opinion. Obviously, this none of this is confirmed, but I could see it being a thing. And obviously, comment down below throughout the video how you feel about all this. Because obviously, some of us are going to be like, I don't want a second DLC pass for you. We need Minecraft 9. But some of us are like, they're not going to make Minecraft 9. They're just holding this off. And yeah, maybe we haven't heard anything about a new Mario Kart game. So, you know, hey. But let's go on to reason number three. Okay, I know what I said earlier. I said it would be like the dumbest thing I could ever speak into existence. But this might be the worst thing I can ever speak into existence. Number three reason. For us Nintendo fans, it is not a great reason. But for Nintendo, it's a great reason. It's a phenomenal reason. And that reason is a one word, one word noun money let's face it guys nintendo isn't here to like make us feel happy make us feel good about ourselves they are here to make a goddamn dollar that is why they're here and they are sure doing it with this game all right this is the best selling mario kart and switch game of all time this outsold mario kart wii which we all know how big that was i would know i was three and with all that in mind N undoubtedly there has to be something to mention something has to lead to the fact that we have a f that much potential in this game and they're probably gonna very well make the hell out of what they can get with it because this game is bundled with God, every no every november during black friday every like switch bundle that's special about mario this is an option this game made too much damn money at this point and nintendo knowing them for fair reason gonna take advantage of it it's sad but it's true that's reason number three is because nintendo wants their money and they want it quick and give dlc to a game that has this for frick yeah they're gonna do it and besides smash bros got a second dlc pack why can't mario kart which bid the bid did bigger anyways before i do my quick outro thing i have something i want to mention thank you for 5,000 subscribers we are over halfway now to 10k we get to 10k by the end of the year, I will eat a sock or something, I don't know. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. And be sure to check out my new Discord server below. I will have a reason stated why it's new, but I have a new Discord server in the description below. So comment down below if you liked any of these and follow my other pages and yeah, peace out gamers.